Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again here with another video. In today's session, I'm going to specifically talk about the USG grinder and 10 degrees downward tilt. I had a guy that was online and he had an Oregon grinder. And for some reason, he brought a USG grinder, the same as me. I've had Oregon grinders and I brought a USG grinder. And I guess the first thing that sort of makes you scratch your head is that when you use the USG chart or, or try to use it, there's absolutely no reference to 10 degrees downward tilt. And what he said was, hey, I'm, I've got Oregon chains that state that they need 10 degrees downward tilt. How do I apply 10 degrees downward tilt on a USG grinder? Well, the answer quite simply is that you don't. Now, that sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? A USG grinder is totally unlike uh, any other grinder that's out there. It's got offset grinding. The A scale at the back is three degrees offset, all right? You got the sliding vise, which is no different than any other sliding vise. But at the front on the C scale, you've got 17 millimeter offset. And what I mean by 17 millimeter offset, if we zoom in here, and we'll actually show it to you, you can see that there's that's the center line of the pivot point. So when we turn the vise, it's pivoting at that point, but the tooth, the point of the tooth is out here, 17 millimetres. What's the relevance of that? Well, the relevance of 17 millimetres offset, that when you turn this vice, left or right, it moves right across the face of the grinding wheel. The white mark is the centre line. So... What still do is that they move the B scale, the sliding vice, minus 15 millimetres, positive 15 millimetres, to compensate so that the tooth is very close to the centre line. It's just off the centre line to the left and the right, right? When you're doing a left-hand tooth and a right-hand tooth, they're slightly off the centre line. That is the way that still set it up for all their chains, semi-chisel and every full chisel. The only chains that differentiate from that are Hexa, Rapid Duro and the Rescue Chains, which are also tungsten carbide. So that's the way that still have done it. There's a lot of things that are totally different about this grinder. Now, 10 degrees downward tilt was first introduced way before grinders came in. Uh, people did that with hand files. And 10 degrees down would tilt, thinned out the working corner and reduced a bit of the hook. The reason still abandoned the 10 degrees down would tilt, especially with files, the recommendation was that people overdid it. People over tilted. So then still realise that people were doing more harm than good. Now, I've tried time-based cutting using 10 degrees down would tilt and not using it. But on the chain that I was doing it on, it didn't make any difference. So there may be some chains where it does make a difference. So it's up to you as the end user to judge whether the 10 degrees downward tilt is going to be beneficial to your cutting or it's not. That's up to you to decide. But if you're hell bent on wanting to do 10 degrees downward tilt on a USG grinder, the closest that our information that I could give you is that you leave your vice at zero degrees, right? Now, I did mention before that when you do adjust the A scale on a USG grinder, you always set that at 40 degrees, whether it's uh, full chisel or semi-chisel, excluding hexa and rapid duro chains. Now, 40 degrees on here is 50 degrees on an Oregon. Now, for those that may get confused, on an Oregon grinder, vertical reference point is 90 degrees, and on a USG grinder, zero degrees is vertical reference point. So that's the difference why it's 40 degrees on a USG grinder, and it's 50 degrees on a uh, Oregon-style grinder. 
The next angle that's still always used on the top plate is 30 degrees. Only again, rapid gyro milling chains and hexa does it deviate. But between uh, full chisel and semi chisel, 30 degrees. So, okay. You want 10 degrees down with tilt. You want to duplicate what they do on an Oregon grinder. So I've got the head tilted at 40 degrees. I've got this set at zero. I've got this white mark so that it comes in right at the centre line, right? It's right at the centre. Now, what you'll notice, and we'll see if we can zoom in and, and you can really see this, I want you to see this, is that this is right in the centre line, close enough. We'll just make sure that's perfect. I'll line it perfect. Okay, that's perfect, right? It's If you actually have a look, the centre line is where the drive link is, not the working corner of the tooth. But if we rotate, because of that 17 millimetres that I was talking about before, right, there's the centre line, but we're 17 millimetres away, that when we rotate this to 30 degrees, we move away from the centre line. Now, would be a good 12 millimetres or so, something like that there. So we're grinding on the top portion of the wheel we're going up the side of the wheel this is exactly what you do on an oregon if you've got a slidable vice right you're grinding up on the upper part of the wheel away from the center line so this is what i would do if i wanted 10 degrees downward tilt this is what i would do right leave the vice at zero that's my recommendation and you will get your 10 degrees downward tilt like you would on an Oregon. Still, uh, don't recommend it. or They don't even mention it. It is nowhere on a USG chart. There is no talk of 10 degrees downward tilt anymore coming out from still. Doesn't matter whether you're online and there's a, a still brochure or there's a, there's a few still sharpening guides that are out there in PDF format. You will not see anything written anymore about 10 degrees downward tilt. Anyway, I hope that information helps. It's only a short video to explain uh, how to get close enough to 10 degree downward tilt. Leave your B scale vice on zero. So that's all you've got to do. And if you have a look, we'll just see if we can get in there. There it is there on zero. That's it. So, yeah, 40 degrees here, 30 degrees there, vice on zero. You get your 10 degrees down with tilt. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.